In the UK, one in 17 of us will be affected with a rare condition over our lifetime. And joining me now to explain how they are raising awareness with the I Am Number 17 campaign are Kate Irving from pharmaceutical company Takeda, along with Zainab Najefi, mother to a son living with a rare disease. So Zainab and Kate, welcome to you both. Zainab, let me start with you. Tell us why raising awareness of rare diseases is so important to you and what brought you to be so involved then in this I Am Number 17 campaign? Thank you so much. So I'm a mum of a child with a rare disease, Adnan. He's got a condition called mucolipidosis type 2. It's also known as eye cell disease. The condition affects less than two in a million. Um, so it's super rare. And when he was first diagnosed, I just felt so lonely. We all felt so lonely. We didn't have any information on it. We did all of our own research. And I, I felt alone, um, so I started sharing about him, sharing our story on social media. Um, and I became involved with the I Am Number 17 campaign. And it felt amazing to be part of a campaign where actually we didn't feel so alone. Um, you know, rare diseases will affect one of us, uh, one in 17 of us in our lifetime. That's a huge number of people. That's 3.5 million people in this country. Um, so it's just raising that awareness and just, you know, people need to know that we are here and we want to be heard and seen. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then, Kate, from your perspective with Takeda, tell us why rare diseases and raising awareness of rare, rare diseases is so important to you. Well, I mean, Takeda was founded nearly two and a half centuries ago in Japan, and the founding father's principle was that we should treat the patients that we serve as if they are members of our own family, like our own children. And when you consider people living with rare diseases or caring for, for those people, um, they have a, a need, an urgent need to accelerate access to the care that they need and the diagnosis in, in time. So the campaign, bringing us up to date, um, has been running for four years now. And um, through the campaign, we're aiming to drive an increased awareness of what it's like to be living with rare conditions but also to drive for change, because whilst we appreciate a lot has been done, uh, there's still a lot more that needs to happen, and we really want to work to accelerate that rate of change. And one of the areas of change is in equity as well, and I know that's important to you, Zainab, so tell us why equity of care is so pivotal to you and your life. Well, it, it comes down to, again, being so rare, there not being enough awareness, and it it means that people just give us more attention, really, give you know my child more attention, give people living with rare diseases more attention, um, equal attention to those conditions that people will have heard of. Um, you know, there's so much that's being done, but so much more that needs to be done as well. So, Kate, raising awareness is obviously important, but also improving education for healthcare professionals. That's important for Takeda as well. It really is. Um, and obviously, it's impossible for every healthcare professional to know about every single rare disease. But there are signs that you can spot. And knowing how and when to refer for specialist attention is absolutely critical. And it should be noted that in the rare disease framework of 2021, it was highlighted that we need to increase health care professionals' awareness of rare disease. But we think that it actually should be mandatory for medical students and junior doctors to actually have that part of their learning. And Medics for Rare Disease, who are partnering with us in our latest wave, our fourth wave of the I Am Number 17 campaign, are really spearheading this drive to, to include awareness of rare diseases and understanding of what to do when you see one or what you think might be one in medical education. And finally, Zainab, as a mother of a child with a rare disease, why is coordination of care so important to you? How would that improve your life? It would make a huge difference if it was, you know, worked on. Um, at the moment, we spend so much time repeating ourselves to healthcare professionals, you know, coordinating appointments, um, going to different specialists and saying the same thing over and over again. And it, it just, you know, people living with rare diseases have enough on their plate as it mm -hmm. is, this is something that can really help them and just improve their quality of life. Well, best of luck with the campaign. Uh, Zainab and Kate, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much.